Okay, here's a quick video that I just decided to make just to help some people out. Some people might be able to figure this out by themselves anyway, but just in case. So basically, I have a Nexus 4 and I decided to mess around with the partition and all that stuff. So this thing right now, it's not working, but tomorrow I gotta go back to work. So I need a temporary phone. Well, I have my old uh, broken phone right there. Not broken, I'm mean my old uh, backup phone. Well, the problem is Nexus 4, or most new phones, they use a micro SIM card, uh, which is something like this. Okay? But my old backup phone uses the old school, uh, you know, the full SIM card. Now, I know you can go to eBay or whatever, some websites, and you can probably get those uh, adapter that looks like this, uh, where you can fit that little micro SIM card into the adapter and put it back into the phone. But in my predicament, I have to go back to work tomorrow, and I really need a phone because all my contact, my boss's numbers and everything is in that phone. So what I did basically is I had some SIM card uh, stuff lying around. Like when you buy a SIM card, you know, you get, it comes in a plastic case, like not a case, but a, it's, it comes in a, you know, it comes with a plastic, excess plastic, I should say. And uh, if you don't have a SIM card lying around, you can probably use almost SIM thickness, um, not a credit card, but you know any membership card that you don't really need anymore. Basically, any plastic sheet would do. And what I did is I went online. I just googled uh, micro SIM card template, something like that, and make sure you print it in one-to-one -one scale. You print it out. These are for actually cutting your big SIM card into a smaller SIM card. But I decided why not do the reverse. So I printed out. I cut out the paper, and I taped the paper. Um, to this guy, I just needed needed a little bit of plastic, uh, using uh, this kind of tape, just a normal invisible clear tape, and then after that, I basically decided to cut it with the scissor. But before you uh, cut it out of the the big plastic card or whatever you're using to get the plastic, just don't take it out all the way. Just leave like basically don't cut it out. Just cut maybe one side, and then. Um, the template that I'm using actually came with the outline of the big SIM card also. So what I did is I basically traced that with the uh, X-Acto knife uh, or some kind of crafting hobby knife or whatever you have lying around. But um, X-Acto knife, something like this. If you don't have this, um, any uh, box cutter should do the trick. Just be careful. Don't cut your finger. And then, yeah, so just cut the inside out and... Voila, you actually have, you know, a temporary uh, SIM, uh, SIM card case. And you basically take this, take the micro SIM card, put it in, and then probably you're going to have to tape it because this is handmade. So just make sure you tape it properly and all that. And then uh, carefully set it into your phone. And I already tried that, and it works perfectly fine. So, yeah, it's just a quick uh, fix. And until you can order and get the proper SIM card or fix your phone, whatever. Anyway, I hope this might you know help somebody that might be in the same situation as me, uh, who need to switch back the s micro SIM back into the full SIM, uh, and they don't have any adapter lying around right away. All right. So if you have any comment or any other way to solve this problem, leave a comment below. Uh, definitely, I give it a thumbs up. So thank you for watching, and see you on the next video.